We're going to drive the boat, we're going to drive the car, we're going to drive anything we can to get to where these fish are, you know. If it's, uh, if it's down in Isla Mirada or if it's up in the Panhandle, we're going to drive to it, man. Is it worth the call to come here or what, bro? That's what you do for the poon, man. You make the move. This whole adventure has always been about the fish. Um, it's all about the tarpon. It always has been. I don't know. I just woke up and uh, they're in the Keys. <laughs> Pretty cool. I mean, this is about the migration, you know? This is about tarpon and how they travel up the coast of Florida. I looked up and there was a line of fish coming and it never stopped. I mean, we fish Big Pine, Isla Mirada. From Isla Mirada, went to the Everglades, from the Everglades at the Boca Grande. We stake out in areas where we know that on a given tide, uh, the fish are going to push into a certain location, and we wait for the fish to come to us. There's more to it than just getting the fly in the right location. You've got to watch the body movement of the fish. Uh, but sometimes you get it right, you know? You, you drop the fly right on the nose and wiggle a little bit, and just crush it. Y'all? Oh, he's under the fucking boat right here. We laid up, laid up prunes. Uh, absolutely love it. I don't think there's anything better than getting shot at a floating fish in two to five feet of water. I don't think it gets any better than that. Cooler reefs I've ever seen, man. Perfect shot of the laid up fish. Head out of the water, eat. Fish was flying all over the place. That's a pig, man. Got him in the deep water. Whooped his ass. Every destination we go to, we get to fish with people who are just as crazy about this as we are. Every every area has their own characters. I'm a sass <laughs> Boca Grand. Certainly the Keys have got uh, multi-personalities and characters. Did Hatter just fall in, bro? <laughs> Hell yeah, he did. Look at Hatter. Hey, Greg, you're an asshole! Going to all these different places and seeing the wildlife and meeting all the different people was just an amazing experience. You know, these guys, their their lives evolve around this fish, you know. Uh, these guys we're gonna fish with, and that's all we think about. That's what they're there to do. The cool part of the day is when Eddie jumped in after the coon, the tree, the coon retriever he is. Get him! Get him, Eddie! Eddie loves some coon, bro. This season we got to fish more places and see more tarpon than most people do in a lifetime. In a matter of about two and a half hours, we jumped 17 fish. That's one of them badass Everglades coons right there, brother. Yeah, that fish would not give up. Horn through here, like roll between me and the beach. Same time, two fish came in. And suddenly he says, Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, look at the size of this. You'd get a bite, the fish would jump, your hook would be dull because the tip would be bent over, and another one would come up and grab the fly. It was just one of those fantastic days that you probably see once or twice in a while. We're following the migration. We're following the fish. Where the fish are, we're going to be. 